Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. Google just dropped a massive update for its AI design tool, Stitch. And it's not just one or two small tweaks. It's a collection of powerful new features that seriously upgrade its capabilities. I've been messing around with it, and it's really very awesome and interesting now. For anyone who hasn't used it, Stitch is Google's AI tool that can whip up UI designs from simple text prompts or even your messy sketches. It's been pretty handy, but these new updates just made it even better. There are five major updates that happened on Stitch, and we're going to go through them one by one. I'll explain what each one is, why it matters, and I'll show you exactly how it works. So let's get right into it. All right, first up, the update that powers everything else, the AI engine. Stitch has tuned and pushed Gemini 2.5 Pro to its maximum creative limits. What it actually means is that the designs are smarter. The AI has a better grasp of layout, spacing, and even context. We're not just getting pretty pictures. We're getting designs that feel more intentional. Google's own data says users are preferring the new AI's results three times more often, which is a pretty bold claim. Let's put it to the test. I'm going to give it our first prompt for the Brew Finder app. This is my prompt. Create a mobile app called Brew Finder that helps users discover the local coffee shops. The home screen should have a prominent search bar, a section for editor's pics with photos, and a map view showing nearby cafes. Use a warm, inviting color palette with browns and creams. And there you go. The layout is clean, the hierarchy is logical, and the component choices are solid. This is the new baseline, and it's a much higher quality starting point than before. And everything we're about to do is built on this smarter foundation. So that's really pretty awesome. Next up is a feature that will completely change how you collaborate, the annotate tool. We've all been there, sending screenshots back and forth with red lines and long emails. This feature aims to replace that process. This design is good, but I want to make a change. This editor's picks section is kind of boring. I want it to be more interesting. Watch this. I'll activate annotate, draw a quick circle around the section, and type my feedback in plain English. I want to add the top comment in every editor pick so it feels more lively. I will then hit the apply button and it will start doing the changes for me. I don't even have to do anything at all. And it's done. No manual design work. The AI understood my request and rebuilt the component. This is like having an AI design assistant who you can give feedback to in real time. It's an absolute game changer for iteration speed. I love this new update a lot. The third major update is the new theme engine. This is all about maintaining brand consistency without the headache. In this one panel, you have global control over your app's entire look and the feel. Suppose you want dark mode. With one click, the whole app is converted with intelligently inverted colors, but it goes deeper. I can change my primary brand color here and watch as every button and highlight in the app updates instantly. Same for typography and border radius. If I want a softer, more rounded look, I just choose it from here. This makes rebranding or creating different visual styles incredibly fast. It's your interactive style guide, and it prevents you from having to hunt down and change every single element manually. This is very useful, not gonna lie. All right, update number four is a two for one. Let's call them the productivity boosters, variants and organizer. First, Let's create a new screen so we have more to work with. I will just write, create a detail screen for a coffee shop called The Daily Grind. It should have a large hero image, the shop's name and address, a star rating, customer reviews, a menu section, and a get directions button. Okay, so here's our new screen. It looks good, but maybe I'm not sold on this specific layout. This is where variance comes in. I select the screen, click the variance button, and the A, I will brainstorm for me. It gives me different arrangements of the same information. This is perfect for breaking a creative block or just exploring options without any extra effort. Now, as you create more and more designs, your canvas is going to get messy. But we now have another new feature for that, and that is called Organizer. Just select everything, and then you will see various organize options here through which you can organize all the things on your canvas pretty easily. One click and everything is tidied up. Small feature, but so satisfying. And finally, they have added a share option here 
through which you can share your designs with others. And these were all the new updates on Stitch. When you look at them all together, it's clear this is a massive leap forward. Stitch is becoming a seriously powerful tool in the creative process. You should definitely give it a try and see for yourself, because this is pretty awesome now. Which of these features are you most excited to try? Let me know down in the comments. If this blew your mind as much as it did mine, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into various new AI tools. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.